Chapter 4 Season 4 is just around the corner, and this season looks like it is going to be absolutely insane. But before we get started off with a brand new season of Fortnite, I need to show you guys the 31 best pickaxes for you to use in Season 4. Obviously, there are going to be some amazing pickaxes added next season, but a lot of you guys have just bought some recent pickaxes in the game, and I'm going to be showing you the best pickaxes to use as we move throughout Chapter 4 Season 4. This is going to include some older pickaxes, and of course, some new pickaxes that have never featured on the channel before. So if I talk about your favorite pickaxe, make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button and make sure you guys keep on watching to see what the number one position is. If you do want to see some exclusive content as well, make sure to go and join the members section on my channel. It is just launched and you guys are going to see some amazing exclusive videos over the next few seasons. But let's get started off guys with the number 31 position and we have the Cybertronian Axe. This was added to the game during the chapter four season three battle pass and this is the pickaxe designed for Optimus Prime. It's just so insane to think about that we finally have an Optimus Prime skin in the game. We've had Transformers leaks coming to Fortnite basically since chapter one. I don't think anyone ever expected them to actually add a skin like this to Fortnite. And even if they did, I thought it was definitely going to look a lot worse than this skin does. It actually looks really clean. I love the way this skin looks, but the pickaxe for this might be my favorite part about it. It has a really simplistic design. It does have a custom animation as well though, which makes it a lot better. And it's gonna fit in with all of your favorite skins. Moving on though to the number 30 position, we have the Reaper. It might be a little bit weird that we're going from one of the newest pickaxes to literally one of the oldest, but I still think this pickaxe is still worth using today just because of how clean this actually is. You can pick it up for around 800 V-Bucks. It has a really simplistic design, but it is one of the most iconic pickaxes of all time. And I think that is really what helps make this so good. It's gonna fit in with all of your favorite skins as well. So regardless of if you are using something like Zadie, like I am right now, or even one of the more colorful and brightly detailed skins in the game, it is going to match it absolutely perfectly. Next up though, at the number 29 position, we have the Big Spoon. This is taking this list in a little bit of a different direction. We have mentioned some very sweaty pickaxes, but the Big Spoon is definitely known as a meme pickaxe. We have seen some sweats and pros using this over the last few weeks, especially Clicks. I feel like whatever pickaxe Clicks uses is definitely going to end up becoming quite popular, and the Big Spoon is definitely one of them. I love the way this looks though. There are three different edit styles for this as well, which is always really good to see. We don't really see too many pickaxes getting a bunch of edit styles in Fortnite today. And for that reason, I think the Big Spoon is definitely one of the best pickaxes in the game. Let's move forward though guys to the number 28 position and we have the Electro Staff Pickaxe. This is a crossover pickaxe with the Star Wars franchise. We have had a few Star Wars pickaxes being popular in the past, but I honestly feel like the Electro Staff is definitely one of the best. Obviously, I would have loved to see lightsaber pickaxes finally being added to the game, but since they are still mythical weapons, I don't think we are ever actually going to see them. So for that reason, the Electro Staff is actually pretty good. They could have done a lot in terms of Star Wars pickaxes. I would have loved to see a little bit more creativity because we have like three or four pickaxes that look the exact same, but the Electro Staff would be one of my favorites. It is really simplistic and is going to work with all of your favorite skins. One crossover pickaxe that might just be a little bit better though is the Joker's Revenge. You could actually get this in the last laugh bundle, so it was quite expensive coming in at around $40. This pickaxe was obviously designed for the Joker skin, which is one of the more underrated skins in the game, but I absolutely love the way this pickaxe looks. I've been a fan of this for such a long time. I feel like it does work as a sweaty pickaxe, but also as a meme pickaxe as well. It just sort of depends on the player using it. Even though it does have quite a detailed design, I still feel like it can work with all of your favorite skins. So depending on what skin you were using, this pickaxe could actually match it really really well make sure to let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below but this is definitely one pickaxe i recommend you guys start using in season four another pickaxe that you guys should definitely be using though is the trusty number two now this is definitely one of the oldest pickaxes on this list as this featured in the chapter one season three battle pass it is obviously the pickaxe that was designed for the reaper skin which was the official unofficial john wick collaboration this is really cool though i love the way this pickaxe looks we have seen some people starting to use this again as more and more OG players are coming back to the game to play the zero building game mode. I do love this pickaxe though. I've been using it a bunch with skins like the Elite Agent and of course the Reaper just to show other people that I've been playing Fortnite for such a long time. And if you guys are the same, then this is something that you need to try. Let's move on though guys to the Vision Pickaxe. This actually looks sort of similar to the trusty number two. It is also a little bit of a meme pickaxe as well, which is what is so good about this pickaxe. You can pick it up for only 800 V-Bucks. I 
would love to see some other edit styles for this. I think this is definitely one of those pickaxes that they could add additional edit styles for, but we're just going to have to wait and see if they do that in the future. Some other color styles would really make this pickaxe a lot better, but I feel like the original design should definitely stay if they do add extra styles. The glowing eyeball right in the middle of this pickaxe makes it not as sweaty as it probably would be if it was just a normal shovel pickaxe, so that is why I think this is a sweaty pickaxe and also a meme pickaxe. We probably don't see too many meme players using the candy axe though, because this is definitely known as a tryhard pickaxe. This is one of the oldest pickaxes in the game. It was first added back during chapter one season one and it is also one of the most expensive pickaxes in the game coming in at 1500 v bucks that is just such an insane price to pay for one pickaxe with no additional styles if they had have added the merry mint as an edit style for this pickaxe then maybe it could be justified but i just think it is so overpriced and there are probably better pickaxes that you guys can buy if you guys do want to stand out a lot one pickaxe that i highly recommend is gohan's beast blade this is actually a crossover pickaxe with dragon Dragon Ball Super. I love the way this pickaxe looks. I think it is really, really unique. And from all of the anime pickaxes that we do have in the game, this would easily be one of my favorites. A lot of the anime pickaxes are quite big and bulky and definitely very detailed. Even though Gohan's Beast Blade is very detailed, I think it is still quite simplistic as well. And it can work with all of your favorite skins. We did see a bunch of pros and streamers using this when it first got added, but I feel like a lot of them have actually forgotten this pickaxe exists. So hopefully if you guys do start using them, we can can see more people using it in the Fortnite community. We need to move on to the Sockum Socket Pickaxe. This is added to the game with the clip bundle that we did see during Chapter 4 Season 3, and you could only get this for around $10. I actually think this is a really good price. Obviously, the clip skin could have come with some edit styles, but instead we just got one skin with an edit style and, of course, one pickaxe. I do love this, though. I think the Sockum Socket is a perfect pickaxe for skins like Combat Tech Jewels. As you guys can see, that is the combo that I have been using using with this. I think these items just work so perfectly together and it is going to be the same with a lot of other skins as well. It is obviously going to fit in with those darker themed skins because it is a darker pickaxe, but if you guys do like this, make sure you start using it next season. We also need to talk about the June Scooper though because this pickaxe is only available for a few more days. You can currently get this in the Chapter 4 Season 3 Battle Pass. It is a pickaxe designed for Puridice Meowsels, which is so, so sick, but once this season ends, you are never going Going to be able to get this pickaxe again. I think that does suck. It is obviously such an amazing pickaxe and a lot of people sort of overlook the battle pass pickaxes that we do get each season and the June scooper has definitely been one of them. I love the way this looks though. It is definitely one of the biggest meme pickaxes we have seen being added to Fortnite over the last few seasons and it is going to fit in with a lot of your favorite skin. I've been using this a bunch with the cozy chomps and as you guys can see it is just such a clean combo. It isn't as good as our next pickaxe though which is the bad joke. We already talked about the Joker's Revenge earlier on in this video, and the bad joke was also available in the same bundle, which was the last laugh bundle. You could get this around $40, so it was quite overpriced for what you actually get, but I still think it is so worth it because I love the way this pickaxe looks. It is definitely going to be one of the biggest meme pickaxes in the game. It makes a really silly sound when you swing this, and it doesn't really fit in with too many different skins because it is so detailed and quite a unique pickaxe. Still, though, there are skins like Mariposa and of course the Joker that are going to fit this perfectly. So if you guys do use those a lot, I highly recommend meaning this pickaxe. One crossover that has been a little bit more popular though is LeBeau's Bow. This is a crossover pickaxe with the Marvel franchise and we had to talk about it because it probably is the best Marvel crossover pickaxe we have in the game. I feel like a lot of the Marvel pickaxes do end up being quite bad. There aren't really too many creative pickaxes in the Marvel franchise and a lot of them do look quite similar. LeBeau's Bow is a little bit of a differential pickaxe though. We don't really see too many people using it anymore. It is one of the coolest looking Marvel pickaxes in the game though, and it is going to work in with a bunch of your favorite skins. If you have been using this, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. But that takes us to the number 18 position, and we have the Molten Max Axe. The Molten Max Axe is a battle pass pickaxe from Chapter 4 Season 3, and this is the pickaxe designed for the Rian skin. As you guys can see, this is going to fit in with this skin perfectly. I've been using this a bunch with skins like Optimus Prime and even the superhero skins as well because I just love the way this pickaxe looks so, so much. There are two different edit styles for this as well. We have a red mold.
molten edit style and then of course a green molten style as well but if I did have to choose between the two I feel like the red molten style is going to be the best one moving forward that takes us to the number 17 position though and we have the driver pickaxe the driver pickaxe is definitely one of the more OG pickaxes on this list it was first introduced during chapter 1 season 5 and you can pick this up for 500 V bucks this has been one of the more popular pickaxes in the game just because it has been in Fortnite for such a long time and it is quite cheap, but that doesn't take anything away from how well designed this pickaxe actually is. It's going to fit in with literally every single one of your favorite skins. I think that is what makes this so, so clean. And as you guys can see, I'm using this with one of the most detailed skins in the game, Jitter Shock, and it does match it perfectly. So hopefully you guys do own this pickaxe. I guess the same can be said for our next pickaxe as well, which is the studded axe this is a little bit more expensive coming in at 800 v bucks we saw a bunch of people using this especially during chapter one and chapter two because it was known as the quietest pickaxe in the history of fortnite it literally made no sound when you would swing this which was a huge competitive advantage and i feel like a bunch of pros and streamers still use this pickaxe today because of that exact same reason i would love to get some additional styles for it they could definitely make some diamond edit styles or some golden styles i do know that we also have the flawless pickaxe which is quite similar but the studded axe is definitely the better one out of the two moving forward though guys to the number 15 position we have the ebon heart battle axe this is actually one of the newest pickaxes in the game we don't really see too many people using it just yet because it is part of a gaming legend series crossover but honestly this reminds me a lot of the leviathan axe and as you guys know that is one of the the best pickaxes we have ever seen in Fortnite. It is a little bit different. This isn't a one-handed pickaxe and it doesn't have a custom animation, but honestly, I feel like that might make this just a little bit better. Even though a bunch of pros and streamers love the Leviathan axe because of its size and the custom animation, a lot of people have stopped using it. But with the Ebonheart battle axe being pretty much a normal traditional Fortnite pickaxe, I think a lot of people are going to love this and it's going to work with all of your favorite skins. Another game Legend series pickaxe that we need to talk about though is Leon's Combat Knife. Leon's Combat Knife has been one of my favorite pickaxes over the last few seasons. A bunch of pros and streamers have been using this over the Combat Knife because Leon's Combat Knife only costs 500 V-Bucks. Yes, you guys heard me correctly. Leon's Combat Knife only costs 500 V-Bucks. I feel like a lot of people expected this to cost over a thousand V-Bucks because a lot of crossover pickaxes do, especially if they are only available in a bundle. But with this being able to be purchased for only 500 V bucks it has made it a lot more popular than any of the other knives we've seen in the game and i don't think that's going to change anytime soon next up though guys we have the icebreaker the icebreaker is probably unlucky to not be finishing up higher on the list it is one of the most try hard pickaxes we have ever seen in the history of fortnite and you can pick this up for only 500 v bucks as well this was first added to the game back during chapter one season one so it is literally one of the oldest pickaxes on this list and honestly i'm a little surprised we just don't have edit styles for this. This is a perfect pickaxe to get a secondary style. They could change around the colors or even the design of this. I think that would make this a lot better and also bring a lot of the popularity back for this pickaxe. It has started to drop off though, and that is because people are starting to use the Scully Scepter instead. This is basically a copy of the Star Wand and just with a different color style. It is also cheaper coming in at only 500 V-Bucks. And if you guys are like me, then you probably prefer this over the Star Wand wand. The Star Wand is basically being used by every single pro and streamer in the history of the game, so it is quite refreshing to get a big axe that looks similar, but is still quite different and still looks unique. It's going to work in with all of your favorite skins as well, because the color styles for this pickaxe are really simplistic. I'm using one of the most in-depth and detailed skins in this video right now, which is the J Bolvin skin, and by pairing this with the Skullish Scepter, it just shows you guys how good these items actually look together. They might not be as good as something like the Guitar though and since there are just too many katanas to name now we may as well include every single one i don't remember the first katana that we got i feel like it might have been michonne's katana back during chapter 2 season 5 but we now have so many different katanas in fortnite to name them all it's just easier to include all of them in at this position a lot of them are very good though there probably isn't one that is used
used by most of the Fortnite community. I feel like Michonne's katana has been one of the more popular ones that we have seen, but still all of the other katanas, especially the Snake Eyes katana, has been quite popular. But let's move on guys to the number 10 position and we have the Cold Snap. The Cold Snap is one of the most OG pickaxes on this list as well. It first got introduced to the game back during Chapter 1 Season 7, but this has actually become a lot more popular over the last few weeks because of Clicks. This is included in Clicks' Locker Bundle, which has made this so much more popular than I ever thought it would be. He did use this a lot back during Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, but hasn't really used it since, but now that this is part of his Locker Bundle, he has been using it again, and I think a lot of people are starting to use this as well. I really love the way this pickaxe looks, I think it's going to fit in with all of your favorite skins, and it's definitely one pickaxe that you guys need to buy. Next up though guys, we have the Lovelorn pickaxe. This is actually going to be one of the cheapest pickaxes on this list, coming in at only $4. What I love about this is not only is it one of the most detailed and in-depth pickaxes in this video, it is quite simplistic at the exact same time, and it sort of looks like the Axe of Champions 2.0. It has the same sort of color style to it, it has the same simplistic design as well and I think that is just so so good and probably one of the main reasons why this has been so popular. If you guys are like me and are just never going to own the Axe of Champions then this is a really good alternative and it only sets you back for dollars. Let's move forward though guys to our next pickaxe and this is Yennefer's Megascope. This is one of the cleanest crossover pickaxes we have seen in a really long time. It is a little unusual as well. I never really expected too many people to buy this because it is a cross over with the Witcher, but I think this pickaxe is really detailed and definitely one of the better Gaming Legends pickaxes we do have in the game. It is a little bit unique though, I don't think too many people are going to start using this next season, but if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I think this is one of the best pickaxes available today. Let's move on though guys to the number 7 position and we have Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Catwoman's Grappling Claw is just a little bit better than Yennefer's Megascope, it has been more popular for obviously a longer time since this was introduced back during chapter 2 and you can pick this up for 800 V-Bucks. As soon as I saw this pickaxe, I thought it was going to be one of the sweatiest ones in the game. Not too many people really picked it up though the first time it got added to the game and it wasn't really popular until we moved into the end of chapter 3 and of course the start of chapter 4. I feel like a lot of people slept on this for such a long time and the same thing sort of happened with the Vault Guardian. The Vault Guardian is basically an upgraded version of the Gold Pro. It is a lot new newer. I think the design of this is honestly a little bit better as well, and you could unlock this for free. Obviously, if you are like me though and didn't want to grind out the game too much, then you could also buy this for a few V-Bucks, but personally, I feel like this is definitely one of the best pickaxes Fortnite has ever added, and the fact that you could get this for free just makes it even better. It's going to work in with all of your favorite skins, regardless of if you are using something like Renzo or even the superhero skins. I promise you guys are going to absolutely love Love it. Let's move on though to the number 5 position guys and we have the Harley Hitter. The Harley Hitter is one of the best pickaxes in the history of Fortnite. It was added back during Chapter 2 Season 1 so for this to still be popular like 4 years later just shows you guys how good this really is. I've been using it a bunch and it doesn't only have to be used with DC skins, you can use this with all of your favourite sweaty skins. It is one of my favourite pickaxes, it is probably my most used pickaxe as well. Basically whatever skin I buy I'm going to be using using it with the Harley Hitter because it suits every single skin in the game. Make sure to let me know if you guys own this in the comments down below. But that takes us to the number 4 position and we have the Raiders Revenge. Even though we are mostly talking about sweaty pickaxes, we needed to include the Raiders Revenge as well because this is one of the most OG pickaxes of all time. It probably is considered a sweaty pickaxe as well, we just don't really see too many people using it because it is so rare. There are probably only a few thousand people that are still playing Fortnite today that still own this pickaxe, which is just so insane to think about. And People were spending like $10,000 on a Fortnite locker just to get this pickaxe. Obviously, most people did end up buying the Renegade Raider as well, but still, that is a crazy price to pay just for this pickaxe. Moving on though, guys, to the number three position, we have the Star Wand. I don't think anyone is surprised that we are 
featuring the style wand in this video again. It is probably featured in nearly every single pickaxe video on my channel since it was first introduced. It is just one of the best pickaxes of all time, and I don't think that is going to change in the future. You can't pick this up for 800 V-Bucks. It is basically noted in the Fortnite Pro community as the best pickaxe in the game. It doesn't really make too many sounds, and it's going to work in with all of your favorite skins. I would just love Fortnite to add some edit styles for this. Obviously, we did get the Scully Scepter, but that is an entirely different pickaxe, so hopefully Fortnite do look at doing that in the future. We need to talk about literally the sweatiest pickaxe of all time, though, and this is the Axe of Champions. We do now have two different styles for this. We have the Axe of Champions 1.0, and then, of course, the Axe of Champions 2.0, which is brand new this chapter. I think the 2.0 version is just a little bit better. It looks a lot cleaner, and the iridescent edit style for this is just so, so clean. It has a really cool glowing effect to it. You can see, though, how similar it does look to the Love Lawn, which is why a lot of people did end up buying that if they did want to look like they won the Axe of Champions pickaxe, but nothing is ever going to be the original because this is definitely one of the sweatiest pickaxes in the history of Fortnite. But if there is one pickaxe that people want to own more than that, I feel like it is the Leviathan Axe. And therefore, that is the number one pickaxe that you guys need to start using in Chapter 4 Season 4. Obviously, though, this is only featured in the item shop once, and that was back during Chapter 2 Season 5. We actually got this added with a Kratos skin. You could actually pick this up for a thousand V-Bucks, and it was definitely worth it. It is one of my favorite pickaxes of all time. I feel like it works in with a bunch of different skins as well, but if you guys do want to own something similar, then you could always use the Ebonheart Battle Axe like I mentioned earlier on in this video. But as you guys know, it is pretty much the best pickaxe in the history of the game. I don't think that is going to change anytime soon unless we get some absolutely amazing pickaxes during Chapter 4 Season 4. But there you guys go, that is my video talking about the 31 best pickaxes to use next season. Make sure to let me know which pickaxe is your favorite in the comments down below and click on the video on your screen now.